Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel, Cyrus Christians, and I trust God you all are doing great. Today I'm here in my kitchen, but I'm not going to teach you any cooking recipe. Today I have a bring another sewing project. As you can see, we have this gorgeous kitchen hanging towel in front of us. Today I'm going to teach you easiest pattern. You just have to follow the step-by-step -step directions. You don't need to add any button or Velcro or any other attachments. All you just need a measurement and your favorite fabric to do this project. These kind of projects are always in a fashion and always fun to do and give to your family and loved one around. Especially if you have friends who love uh, home decor or they are housewives, they're going to love those kind of gifts. If you're new to my channel, just stopping by, just go ahead and subscribe. You're going to learn here sewing, cooking, and DIY projects. If you are already a regular subscriber, I'm sure you're already enjoying all the wonderful projects over here. So let's go ahead and start it. All right, beauties. So for making our today project, kitchen hanging towels, as you can see, the, these are so gorgeous. The fabric, I'm using this gorgeous sparkly cotton mix fabric. And the measurements which we have needed, I'm going to use two patch of seven by eight inches. So the seven inches will be our width and the eight inches will be our length. We need eight inches because uh, on the bottom, I already have a prepared fold. If you have a pure 100% cotton, then you don't need to stitch on the top, just uh, iron, uh, hard iron press and just uh, try to make a fold, okay? And if you are using a long panel like this way and you just wanna have a iron press in a center rather than stitching from a center, then you just need a 15 inches long panel only one and seven inches width okay if you want to use a one panel because i'm using a two panels so i need a seam alone in a center that's why my panels both are eight uh, seven by eight inches seven inches width and eight inches long and the other panel which we have needed this one is a 7.5 seven and a half inches long panel okay and the uh, width is four inches and as you can see how uh iron pressed i made four folds uh, first i have four from center if you notice here center fold and then fold in the sides so each fold is a one inch fold so because it's a four inches so we have a four fold fabric okay the next step which i have already done to save our time this band i have stitched from both sides okay rather than flipping fabric inside out we have used the easiest technique just to uh, sew on a top and on a bottom okay and the same thing i have did I have stitch in the center so we can close from center but yet we have opening from bottom and now you can see it all right so now the next step I'm gonna do if you remember the width of this panel is seven inches but our band width is seven and half inches that's mean half inch this panel will be a little loose than the other bigger panel which we need it because when we insert our uh you know the towel inside that will give us enough for leverage to easily insert this panel okay so simply what i'm going to do I am going to do insert right on a right on a top of the stitch where we made a stitch I'm just going to put close them with each other and then I'm closing top panel and simply adding a pin okay and going to do same thing on other way as you can see it's a longer but we are tucking this inside and keeping it even here 
Okay. And then also going to put pin here as well. Okay, and that's it. Now we are going to stitch from sides. Okay, go ahead and stitch from one side and then the other side, both sides as well. And if you didn't have a stitch from the bottom, didn't make a hemming from the bottom, don't worry about that. You, If you just have the uh, iron press fold, that fold will be inside because we're since going to, uh, till going to stitch on the top of this thing as well. So that will be secure, okay? So let's head to our sewing machine now. So the another simple step we are going to do, just flipping inside out and then I'm going to iron press on top of this and then I will be back. Okay, so the next step which I'm going to do, separating this, and I'm going to make a stitch on a top of this edge, top edge. Exactly same way we have a stitch here, I'm going to make on top of this. In that way, that will bring more neatness to our uh, stitches which we made on a top. Going to do on both with my uh, patches and then I will be back and simply we're just going to insert our towel inside and sew from sides and sew from the top of the bottom and our project will be finished. Okay, so our top covers are prepared just to attach on sew on the top and we are just going to take out all the tags If you see it's nicely already made a fold okay all you just have to do measure the fold and see if the length is enough or if there are any adjustment need to be adjust if you notice mine is on both sides quarter inch little bit extra so that's mean I have to just little bit adjust my fold and which not gonna affect too much because uh, still my print will be you know in the center so simply I'm going to take a little from inside and also make sure they both are even when you are 
checking in on each other. Okay, and now see, see that? Now they look like an even, okay? And simply I'm just tucking this forward. I know this is going to be uh, make a top little harder because here we have a couple folds fabric and then we have this double fold and a bottom double fold so it's like a um it's like eight layers we are having right now you know and we're gonna sew on top of this so make sure you have a good needle and also you're not in a rush to sew you're gonna take your time with each stitch okay simply you have to just pin up on a top okay i'm just going to sew on the top going to insert other towel as well and then we will head to our sewing machine okay as you can see we have one stitch on the edge but now I'm going to create an other stitch which will be half inch just to bring extra neatness to the, our project. And now we are going to stitch on side ed edges. Sure, open this slide. Okay, going to do exactly stitch on other side as well. And that's it. We're just going to trim all the extra threads and our project is finished. Now I will teach you and show you how to hang this towel on a kitchen rack. And if I show you how to hang this gorgeous towel, the tip is very easy and method is very simple. We are just going to take this on a bag and simply just going to tuck inside of this belt we have created and then just bring right on top of this belt on top of stitch okay and that's it as you can see we have created this gorgeous pattern we no need to use any button any velcro or any other attachments all you just need this simple pattern uh, measurements and the fabric and you're good to go i'm sure you have liked our today's sewing project if you really do please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit like subscribe and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about sewing cooking and dairy projects i love you all god bless you all be safe wherever you are and have a lovely fabulous day Bye bye